Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing a set of upper air deflectors on this 2018 Honda Goldwing Tour. Now these will fit the Goldwing and the Goldwing Tour. In cold weather riding, the deflectors will keep cold air off of your hands. But in the summertime, you can rotate these to direct more airflow for cooling. This video is sponsored by Cruise Man's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. A link to the PDF file with the Honda installation instructions is included in the description of this video. Your kit should include two acrylic air deflectors, two sets of bracket assemblies, and various screws, nuts, and washers required for assembly. Rotate the rear view mirrors as shown. Apply masking tape to the painted surfaces under the mirror to protect the paint. Underneath the mirror assembly, you'll locate a 5mm bolt that holds the arm panel cover in place. You can remove this with a 5mm Allen socket. You'll notice the upper part of the cover has a clip and a tab that fits into a slot in the fairing. On the inside of the plastic cover, you'll find two circles imprinted in the plastic. These are the guides that we're going to use to create holes in the cover. Now, I'm just drilling uh, some small holes with a 5 millimeter drill, and then you can use a file to round out and clean up that hole, get rid of some of the burrs. Okay, it's time for a Cruise Man helpful tip. This step bit is going to do a much, much better job on this plastic than the way Honda recommends. It's quicker, it gives you a cleaner, nicer hole. You can see that it's, I have the metric one that's marked. This is where we're going to go. We're going to go down to 18. You'll notice that Honda put a tiny little dimple right in the middle of that hole. I'm going to use a pick to kind of create a starting point for my drill bit. Now, you want to be careful if you're holding this in your hand. <laughs> you don't want to drill into your hand, obviously. So I'm just going to hold it here and I'm going to get that tip. It's a little bit pointed into that little impression that I made to get it started. And you kind of push on it as you go and it will... And you can see when you clean off all these shavings, what a nice clean hole we're getting on both sides. It's just very, very smooth. You may have to turn the piece over to finish this hole from the front to get it down to that 18 because this will get in your way as you're drilling this little ridge right here. So you can finish drilling the complete 18 millimeters from the bottom side as opposed to from the top. The openings need to be filed large enough so that bracket A with the collars installed will fit through the holes in the bottom as shown. Remove the protective film from both sides of the air deflectors. You'll notice I'm working on a soft cloth so as not to scratch the plastic. Now we're ready to install the bracket B to the deflector. When the holes in the bracket line up with the holes on the deflector, make sure the large slotted opening is at the top of the deflector, otherwise you may have the wrong bracket. The 5mm screw and plastic washer go on the front of the deflector. The rubber washer goes between the bracket and the deflector, and the slotted nut goes on the back of the bracket.
Now we're ready to connect bracket A to bracket B. You must make sure that the slots in bracket A and bracket B are aligned as shown. The two brackets are held in place with a pin and an E-clip or ring at the bottom. A slotted damper is used at the top. Now this fits in place long side first down into the opening. When it's installed correctly, you'll see that it's recessed inside the bracket. Now to do this, I recommend you use a small hammer and maybe a Phillips screwdriver on the head of that damper to tap it down into place until it bottoms out. When the damper is installed correctly, you should be able to swivel the bracket as shown. Here I'm installing the pin and the E-ring on the bottom of the bracket. So here's our trim panel that we're going to reinstall now that we've drilled our holes. And I want you to pay attention to this little hook here. This is at the very top and it's going to fit into a little slot you can see my finger up here, kind of right behind the windshield. There's another little clip right here that goes into a space down here, kind of on the speaker grill cover. But the hidden one is this little hook right here. And that goes up under a piece of the white garnish to help hold everything in place. So what I like to do I like to try to get this part in place first and then this little hook and then concern myself with this little clip down here. Reinstall the 5 millimeter socket bolt that goes in the center and this holds the trim panel in place. You can tighten this firmly, but there's no need to over tighten. Insert the rubber plug on top of the damper as shown. Now here's another little tip. Uh, these little collars that you put on the bracket uh, will tend to fall out very easily every time you tip up and down. You'll notice mine don't fall out when I tip the uh, deflector upside down. And as you're installing these or removing these, these do tend to fall out pretty easily. So what I recommend is you take just a little bit of this gasket sealer and smear a little bit of it on the inside of that collar, set it down in here and it will hold enough. Now you'll still be able to remove these if you ever needed to. I can't think of why you would need to, but it will hold those little collars in place and you'll never have to worry about them falling out on you. Now position the upper air deflectors in place with the collars going through those two holes that we drilled into the trim piece. Okay, I want to recommend that you consider these long handle, long reach Allen wrenches because when you go to take off things like your mirror, the, the handle goes down below the painted surface and you don't have to worry about scratching the paint. So they also give you a little bit more leverage. They're very well made. It makes taking things like this upper air deflector on and off much, much easier. Now I like to start with the rearmost screw and to do that you have to have the deflector in the open position. Once I get it about halfway in I'll go ahead and close the deflector and that gives me access to the forward screw. And always being careful not to get the wrench to hit or rub against the painted surfaces. You can, of course, lay down the masking tape as I showed earlier. If you have a long handle Allen wrench, it makes it much easier. You're less likely to scratch your paint. You want to tighten these firmly. You are actually screwing into metal, so you're not screwing into plastic. However, there is no need to over tighten, and you certainly don't want to use any type of a thread lock on these screws. 
That completes the installation of the upper air deflectors. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel.